Hello everyone, in this video I'm gonna show you how you can deploy a Node.js app in Heroku for free in 2021, like this one right here. Before we start, click the like button, subscribe and hit the bell notification so you don't miss any more future videos. Before we start, if you already have a Node.js app, skip to this time, otherwise follow along so we will open command line here on our folder just create a folder and we will do npm init dash y this might not work for you if you have on your folder name a space so if it is for example heroku space node.js for example the name of your folder dash y won't work so instead just do npm init if you do have that and just spam enter or if you want to fill those options just fill them up but if you want to skip that and you and you only have uh, one uh, word on your folder that's okay so now that we're done with our package let's open it on our visual studio code so let's create a new file now in our directory name it index.js now we will install one package and that's mpmi express and don't forget to do dash dash save otherwise when we will deploy it on heroku it needs to install the packages and if you don't do dash dash save it will not know what packages it you want to install for your app so remember when you want to go to production before going on production uh, when you download your modules always do dash dash save and click enter now we will do conf express equal require express and now we need to do uh, columns up equals express and run so run the function express and now we will create a get our request so let's do it on the when they visit the page and now we will give it a function and that function will have a response and a request we will only use a response but just consistency so now we will do rest on send return uh, working now let's do uh, app.listen and let's listen to a port so what you want to do is uh, when you program it locally you will do something like 5000 right or 3000 or whatever you want but when you want to deploy it on Heroku you have to add on the port process.env.port or uh, the port you want to you want to listen to, because uh, Heroku for now might not have a five thousand port empty, so you want uh, your app to listen to whatever port uh, there is empty for Heroku. So I think that's it. I don't think we have to do anything else. And now let's move to the part that we deployed on GitHub. So first of all, go to your GitHub profile now and click new to create a new repository. And now we will name it Heroku for this app, but you can name it whatever you want. Now I'll click public, I'll leave it public, but if you, even if you leave it private, it doesn't really matter for Heroku. And create a new repository. so we will follow the steps step by step but before we do that we want to create a new file and that will be dot git ignore and what that does is when we push our files to github uh, sometimes we want some folders to not get pushed and for this app we, we want node modules to not get pushed as we don't want node modules to github and that's it, just save the file. Now let's go back to our folder, open command line, 
and follow steps. So first of all, we will do git init to initialize uh, git repository. I already did that. As you see, it says reinitialize, but your will be kind of the same message. So now you do git add, and we want to add all the files. So do dot. Now we want to do git commit. Let's say first commit. And now git push. No, first of all, before we do git push, I almost forgot. We want to add the git remote. And now git push origin. And in our case, we want to do master. As we don't want to use a branch to do that. And that's all. So if we refresh the page, we should see our app right here. That's great. So now let's go and create a new Heroic account and then upload our code there. So now go to heroku.com and on the top right click sign up. Now it's free to create an account as you see, just fill up your information like I will do right now. For company name just leave it empty. Uh, unless you have a company name, so just fill it up. But if you don't, just leave it empty. Now, for role, just select what describes you the best. I will select professional developer. Then, country, select your country. And primary development language, we want to select Node.js. And click I'm not a robot. Now, just select what it asks you to select. And create a free account. Now they will send you at your email a confirmation email. So the email is like this one here. Just click the link they will provide you. And just add a new password. Just make sure you follow the requirements. Uh, I don't select this, but if you want to select it, just select that box and set password and login. Now click here to proceed. And you just successfully created a Heroku account. Now we want to fill those information also, so just accept. That's it. So now let's create a new app right here. And let's name it Heroku. This name must start with a lowercase, let's do that. Most of the times the name is not viable if you use something everyone use just put something like that there and choose your region you can choose between United States and Europe I will select Europe and create app now we want to do it with github we want to connect with github and click connect to github And now we want to select our repository name, so that will be Heroku. Click search and click connect. Now we want to do enable automatic deploys. If you want to do that, so what that does is every time you deploy to GitHub, it will automatically deploy it on Heroku also. I would like to do that because why not? It's really useful to not click deploy every time and now click deploy branch to do it for the first time because next time if you have selected the automatic deploys it will do it automatically but not the first time and now we wait for it to deploy so now as you see we successfully deployed to Heroku now click view 
and for some reason we got an application error that's fine so in order to check our logs we have to go back to our Heroku app go to deploy click on Heroku git click on Heroku CLI here because we want to download the Heroku CLI now uh, just follow the steps here if you have Mac OS, Ubuntu in my case I have Windows so I'll just download the 64-bit installer now that our app is successfully installed just open it click yes click next and install that might take quite some time and we successfully completed the installation so just click close now you wanna go back to your app folder open command line and if you type Heroku all those commands should uh, pop up and now we want to do Heroku login to log in with Heroku in our command line and a window should pop up right now for us to log in so click login and it should do it automatically for you if you haven't logged out otherwise just fill up your information now we want to copy this command right here and paste it here and run it now as you see it doesn't really know which app we use right now so we will do this command and also add does us up and our app name so let's go back and copy paste our app name And we should get the logs. So let's see. Missing script start. Yeah, we forgot to add our start script in our package to JSON. So let's do that right now. Just go on the package to JSON under scripts, add a new line with a comma. And, and type start and on start we're going to do node index.js now save it there is also another problem I found we have to do first request then response as they are parameters it doesn't really matter the name we give them control C and now we want to do again git add dot git commit and git push Now, as I told you before, Heroku will automatically redeploy. So we don't have to worry about that. But we might have to wait a few minutes to do that. Now, to see if our app is working, just scroll up, click Open Up. And we got a working message. That's great. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you out with deploying your app in Heroku. Please let me know if you have any questions. Or problem that may occur while you're watching this video and please let me know what video I should do next because I'm out of ideas and I wish you a happy new year